the large crate, it still goes inside, but the way you pull it out is very between the medium sized crate and the large crate. As you guys can see, Boo is in the medium crate. This is what we got her originally when she was eight weeks old. Within six months, she grew out of it. Now she still likes sleeping in here during the day, but we don't allow her anytime we are out and about for a few hours or even overnight because she cannot stand up. As you guys can see, it's not high enough for her. Now keep in mind, she is a Samoyed. She's a female, she's about 50 pounds. We don't expect her to grow too much more, but this is a better fit for someone like Bungie who is an English Cocker Spaniel. She's 25 pounds and she's a female. We ended up getting the ash color just because it's the lightest out of all the choices. Now it isn't exactly white. I would say it's a very light gray. So if you have a very light neutral aesthetic, I would definitely go for this. And for anyone who has eggs, is it hard to clean? It's not, it's so easy, especially since these trays at the bottom come out very easily you can quickly wipe them even around this the plastic part very easy to clean any of the marks as far as the differences it's really the two doors for the front door the handle it has two parts where you can grip it so it's just a little bit easier to open and close but overall these are just easier in general compared to the metal crates and then the side door that's the big one for us small and medium crate the door is kind of like a garage door so it folds and it goes inside the crate whereas the large crate it still goes inside but the way you pull it out is very different goodbye uh oh who's coming out well at least she lasted in the beginning um the large crate side door you have to have a lot more room because it comes out you need more space around you so if you're thinking of setting it up like this and using the side door, when the door comes out, you just need extra space is basically what I'm saying versus this one, it comes in. So you don't have to worry about having a ton of space right here. I've heard that people didn't like this door, but I wouldn't say this door is any better because you still have to use both of your hands and just clicking everything together. It's not as smooth as I thought it was going to be because I remember the Diggs team saying that it was going to be a lot easier, but I would disagree with that. I think they're both different in their own ways and one isn't easier than the other. Another similarity is the top and how it opens. Same function, does the same thing with the circle in the middle. These both have wheels. This one can fit in our car. We have a Honda Civic, but this large one definitely cannot. So again, keep those things in mind. If you are transporting them or you know bringing them to daycare or whatnot, we would never be able to bring this. This is honestly a bit bulky for us. So when we do leave them with their trainer, we end, we end up just using the metal crate because it takes a lot less space. Overall, Boo really enjoys her new large crate, but I do think she could have fit into the intermediate one because she is a medium large breed. We decided we didn't want to wait for the intermediate one because this large one, they've been talking about it since before we even had either of the dogs. 
So I would say, although they have it as an option, you can be on a waiting list, you should give yourself a good year and a half for it to actually arrive because by the time you order it, then you're still waiting for it to ship. And for us, it took four months to ship. So again, just keep those things in mind. How soon do you need it? For us, we wanted it right away because we want to crate train and we're not always home and we just want to do those things immediately. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys end up getting a Dick's Crate, use Boo's code, Boo25, for $25 off your order. We'll see you guys in another video. Bye!